Okay, if you're watching this video, then you have a black screen in your recovery. This is usually caused by installing a recovery that is incompatible with the Hitachi screen drivers, which you are probably now just figuring out you have. What we're going to do though is we're going to use this utility, Droid at Screen, developed by this gentleman, to work around the black screen in your recovery. You actually have a recovery installed. You just can't see it. What this is going to do is allow you to see it on your PC screen and allowing you to use your phone controls to actually install the ROM. What we first are going to have to do though is go here to support for you and the new prepackaged ADB installation. There's a download link included in here that will download the required package. It has a nice video, which this is something it didn't have when I first used this about a year ago. And I'm pretty much a rock with new things, um, and yet all I had was this, and I still managed to install it in about 10 minutes only problem you're going to run into is when you get to this part after you've set your environmental path open up the command prompt and type in ADB devices for some reason with the black screen and recovery it's not listing the devices when you type in this don't worry ADB has been set up in your system path this is foolproof um, I don't know if anybody has actually messed it up yet. <laughs> okay, once you have this set up, then what you're going to need to do is go here. All these URLs, by the way, I'm going to leave in the video. Um, you need the Java 6 for the Droid X screen in order to run properly. The Droid X screen also has a nice video and you're going to need to download the Droidic screen jar this version during the video it's going to tell you to download the SDK but you already done that when you downloaded the prepackaged ADB installer what you really want to pay attention to is how to point the Droidic screen to the ADB executable that's the most important part of this video. If you have any questions, you can ask them um, here at Android Forums. Um, once you have your ROM installed, what you're going to do is go back in here. I'm going to leave the URL for this as well. And this will give you the Bob Zone modified clockwork mod recovery VM670 NH recovery image. Most people nowadays they want to install a gingerbread ROM or an ICS ROM. This is what's necessary to do that. There's other recoveries out there, but for your Hitachi screen drivers, this is the one you want to use. There's a whole lot of other stuff in here that's pretty cool. Run through there, get yourself a good idea of what's going on. Um, this particular guide will help you to install your recovery with the Terminal Emulator in your ROM. You can also use a Flash Image GUI, which is in here somewhere. <laughs> anyway. Um, let me go ahead and hook up my phone so you can see what the recovery screen is going to look like. There's a lot of you probably... See, even though my screen is off, it's still allowing me to see it. Kind of crazy. Alright, let me get into the recovery mode. Up here so that we can see a little better. OK, 
Okay, now right at first, I'm going to lose it, but we'll get it back again here in a second. And while I'm doing that, um, let me also point out that the truth about ROM Manager, and this is what... This is what I'm showing you today. Um, this is going to have everything about this video in it. The links, everything else. But I'll, I'll go ahead and leave them again anyway. Um, let me see. Where did I put that? There we go. Okay. So here's your recovery menu. You're going to scroll using the up down volume key and in every clockwork mod recovery you use the camera key to make your selection now there's going to be some lag my computer is really slow um, the amount of lag is dependent on how fast your computer is um, so what you want to do as you're making selections don't watch your phone watch the screen to see how quickly it responds I'll point out two things real quick while I have time. I don't have time left hardly on this video, but in the advanced section is where you're going to find the Dalvik cache that you need to wipe. Also, in the amounts and storage section, is where you're going to find the boot the cache, the data, and the system that you're going to need to format as well. You don't want to format your SD card because this will wipe all your data and then you'll have to start from scratch again. Um, that should cover everything. Let me go ahead and leave you the URL links right here. This will give you everything you need. If you need to pause the video now, that's fine. Um, again, I'm a rock, and uh, I haven't quite figured out how to uh, get the links in the YouTube video. Um, but once I do that, then it'll also give you another place to look, as well as in the All Things Root Guide, where you can find the listing for the truth about raw manager which will have the guide for the black screen and recovery as well um, I probably should end this video as it's probably getting kind of toward the end of my allotted 10 minutes um, that's gonna do it um, hopefully this has helped you out don't have too much fun.